Well, good morning. I mean, good evening there, USA. It's Sharon here from the blog I Restore Stuff, ready to share with you another DIY project here on the Essentials Tencel page. And um, how are you today? Let me know where you're tuning in from. Love to hear um, where everyone's watching from. So I'm here in rainy Queensland in Australia right now. So hi, Painted Paddles is watching. <laughs> how are you? must be someone who does a lot of sign making and creativity with your stenciling I'm sure <clears throat> all right let me see if I can find our live going here so I can check the comments hi Brenda how are you watching Brenda's watching let's see there we go now I can kind of see them flowing we are going to be having some fun today with this box now I just found this at an op shop thrift store it wasn't white. I'll show the original color in here. It was just one of those wooden boxes that come. It's almost like a wine box, but it came with just these little um, ceramic dishes. Not these in particular, but sort of around about that size. But it came with all these little ceramic dishes in. So when you find little things like this, I count them as little treasures because I love to upcycle them, craft them, um, stencil them all of that kind of thing. Hi, Kimberly. Thank you so much. Yes, sprinkling's important. <laughs> That's our little word for sharing the love around here on Facebook. And so if you know, um, if you're in a group that you can share these lives with, do that, share it from your personal page. Thank you for sprinkling everybody. Um, hi everyone. Yeah, Cheryl's saying hello to everybody. You're such a great crowd. I love l watching the comments and, and seeing where you're all uh, tuning in from. You'll probably uh, be able to hear the rain again here in our background. We had flooding earlier this year in February. It's now May and they're um, saying there could be some more flash flooding around this week. So anyway, we're going to be upcycling this box. It looks about the size of a shoe box, you know, so it is wood. It's like a very that fine, uh, really light balsa wood almost, but it just came with some um, ceramic dishes in. And so I thought I'm going to reuse this and repurpose it. So I've painted it white just with the standard furniture type paint. I gave it a couple of coats. So we're going to be upcycling that with some stencils today. And I want to be using uh, Fusions Fresco. If you've never used that, it's a... It's a powdered medium that you can mix in with paint and create a textured finish. So I want to have a go at doing that with one of the stencils that we'll be using today. Yes, Donna, it was a great find. I thought so too. So whenever I'm going thrifting, I look for things like that. Empty boxes, you know, because um, you never know what you could use them for. Two stencil sets that I'll be using today. One is the Coastline Phrases. Now, all of these are always in our description of the live. When the live's finished or any time you can just kind of, I don't know how to see it while you're watching live, but you can see the description. That'll have all the links for you. And those will take you to um, where you can get 10% off using my code, I Restore Stuff at Essential Stencil. You can use that anytime that you're on Essential Stencil's website and get 10% off all of their stock. That includes their brushes, their wooden tags, which are back in stock now, by the way. If you've been waiting on those, the wooden tags, the large ones and the smaller ones, I saw a post to say that they're back in stock, so grab a hold of those. Use my code, I restore stuff and get yours. Hi Sandy, how are you? Linda, another Missouri Missouri girl. Yes, the coastal sensor stencils are so much fun. So here's this packet, and this is six minis, so they're six by six inches. Coastline phrases. Are you ready for them? Home, which has got the little sand dollar here, whoop, there. Um, then we've got It's a Sure Thing with a little anchor. Uh, we have Seize the Day. These are all back to front for me, I need to flip them around. Just Add Water, very cute. I love these ones in the circles, aren't they just the cutest? There's two of those in this set and a No Wake Zone. Can you imagine that on a teenager's door <laughs> or something like that? No Wake Zone. And then there's this one, home is where you drop your anchor. So cute. So I'll be using a couple of those on this box. Might put those on the side. And I thought this is a great size for this three pack. We've got jellyfish, seahorse, and whale. Let me just show you those without the, there we go. We've got the jellyfish and I've seen Amanda use that I think already. We've got the whale. I'll be using that today because it fits perfectly on the lid of this box. And the last one there is, is the seahorse. So yes, you can use um, my code, I Restore Stuff, get 10% off all of your stencils. 
or your wood tags or your stencil brushes. Um, Donna says she's ordered the bundle. Yes, so the summer bundle, this is part of that summer bundle that was available for pre-order. So those of you who would have got that, there's still stencils available, it's just not as the bundle and the patriotic bundle. So a lot of you will be receiving those this week, I'm sure. Um, here is the stencil that I'm going to be putting on the lid. So it's this whale. Oh, you can't see except I'll have to move that. But it fits perfectly across the top of the box. So I thought that would be a great idea. And then I'll put some of those words from the smaller set in there. So what I want to do, here's my idea. And if you watch any of my lives, you know that I love to experiment with you. We're all in this together. Am I right? Um, because I have used Fresco lots of times. I'm using it today with a furniture paint. This is the color regatta. It's like a nice dark deep blue which I kind of imagined a whale being that really dark deep midnight blue. You can use Fusion's Midnight Blue. I'm using an Australian brand called Artisan in the color regatta. I had this idea to mix some metallic pearl in with it. Let's see how that how that works out and the fresco to create a kind of a textured look and it's going to be a 3D sort of a sort of a thing. So stay with me and while that's drying then we'll do some stenciling onto the side of the box. So that's the plan for today. Are you ready? All right I'll be looking out for your comments. Don't forget to join in the conversation because that's where uh, Essential Stencil will be picking our prize winners from today and uh, three lucky winners at the end of our live will receive some stencil products from Essential Stencil which will be so much fun. So here's the box we're working on today. It's a wooden box. In fact, I'm just going to take the lid off and I'll leave this down here and we'll just work on the lid because, and it's, it's got these little, uh, what do you call them, things at the end to stop the lid rolling around. So ready and excited. <laughs> Who is that? Let me see. Yes, Linda. I love the bundles too. Glad you ordered. Now it's um, not letting me scroll back to see other comments. That's okay. We'll just keep going. Okay, so our, our whale is going to be right here. I don't have room to really uh, tape this down, so I'm just going to have to use my hands to hold it still. Let me see if I've got our whale looking the right way. It, you know, you could use it this way or you could use it this way. It really doesn't matter. There's no right or wrong upside down or back to front because it's not lettering so it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to sort of center it the right way. But first I have to mix up my fresco powder with my paint and I want to add a little bit of pearl metallic in there or I could just brush this on top later. I may even do that. Remind me and I'll do that. So we'll mix in this. Now the fresco does come with and I've got an Amazon link for this if you really <laughs> someone I saw that Donna uh, risk taker let's go crazy yeah 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 <laughs> um, fresco has some instructions on the back because there's a few different ways you can use that you can use it for a textured look um, mixing one part fresco to two parts of the mineral paint fusion mineral paint um, you can use this with any mineral paint really I'm using it with the Australian brand today and you can use it for also a matte chalky finish so you can create mineral paint into a chalk paint by adding a couple of tablespoons to a pint of mineral paint which is a whole pot. All right so I've got some just some tablespoon scoops to measure that out with and I'm going to use one part to two parts fusion mineral paint to make that textured finish. So it's going to be a 3D looking yes Maggie it's similar to salt wash so if you've got salt wash you can probably use a similar thing. Joyce Ann hi from Kentucky was it? Cindy, thank you so much for sprinkling. Right, usually I just kind of pour this out, so I will try and do that as best I can instead of scooping it in. So remember, more paint than powder. So we're doing two parts. Oh, hang on. Yeah, one part to two parts paint. Yes, I've got that right. Whoops, that's a very approximate right there, and we're making a big mess as we go. Just as well, I've got some paper towel over there to... I'll just rinse that off later. Um, and our brush is ready. So I won't be using the stencil brushes for this particular part of the box, but I'll use them in a minute. So there's our paint. And we should wipe off the sides of the paint jar. Otherwise, I'll just... That's why my lids just stick so well. Um, yeah, but you can use... So this would be a good one if uh, Donna's mentioning what paint I'm using. You can use Fusion Mineral Paint. And if you need links to any of these, I do have Amazon affiliate links 
that I can share with you for the fresco and the fusion paint and the pearl. So um, let me know in the comments and I'll go back later and, and um, let you know that. So then there's one scoop of the fresco powder. So see, it's just this kind of powder mixture. All oh, that rain is getting so heavy. I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, if you need, this is the kind of thing, if you need more powder, you just add more powder if it's looking too liquidy. Now I'm also going to show you another great use. I'm going to be using this today. Now do you recognize this tool? Let me know in the comments. Where do you recognize this tool from, guys? See if anyone can re remind, me, um, remind everybody. Yes, you can get the fresco from Amazon. Let me just pop that in the comments right now. I've got the link r saved right here. And you can, well, let me just pop that right in. I'm commenting as essential stencil. So if you see this fly by, those are the links there. But I will, if you do ask, I will answer that as well. So I'm just going to mix that up. Yes, from the transfers, everyone got that right. So that's the tool from the transfers. It's going to make a great um, spatula. I could be using this tool that I'm using now, but I just wanted to show you. Look, we love to see great uses for all the other things that are here. Now we want it to look a little bit like cottage cheese. Do you call it cottage cheese or ricotta kind of cheese? Now this isn't quite looking as textured as I'd like it. It does kind of set quickly and sets quite hard. This is absolutely a lot of <laughs> paint and I really didn't need this much. So I might have to think of a fun project that I can use this for afterwards. I'm actually going to add more powder in there. So I've almost I've pretty much used equal parts, but we want it to look really textured because I kind of want it, I'm thinking it might almost look like a whale with barnacles. That was the idea, but who knows how it's going to turn out. Oh look, it's still not going lumpy, but we'll see. Like I'm experimenting with y'all. <laughs> oh, I think I still need more powder. Now you may find, I would still start with that one part powder to two parts paint, definitely. And you'll see as I'm mixing, it is getting a bit lumpier now. So here we go. We want to use it lumpy. So I'm going to pick up a bit of that with this spatula tool here and hope that this works guys. I'm going to add a little bit to the beginning, um, to the middle first. So the whale has um, I'm concentrating, see how I can't talk while I'm concentrating. I just don't want it to bleed under and I feel like it's a little bit too thick to bleed to, um, to go on. And it might, or a bit too thin and it might bleed under. Well, if we make a big mess, it's just called experimenting with Sharon and you'll know exactly what not to do. <clears throat> yeah, so thanks um, Maggie for answering that. It's fresco, which is a little bit like some of you are fam more familiar with salt wash. So I'm just adding that with the, with the um, tool that comes with your transfers. So if you've got transfers, you can use this fun tool for this type of project. So we want it to have lumps and bumps. And look, if, you're not got, if you don't want to ruin your nice box that you've um, started with, you can always practice this on a piece of cardboard. And I'm just literally laying it over. I'm not scraping and pushing too hard because I don't want it to, I don't want it to go underneath the stencil too much. You know, and we don't want it to be too thick either, or it'll take forever to dry, especially in this rainy weather. I did bring my hair dryer with me. Now let's just scrape this down. The whale. Look at you, Dana. How is everyone doing tonight? She's asking. I love how you guys just have a little chit chat in the comments. Who else is crafting right now? Let me know what you're working on who's brand new to stenciling. I'd love to know if you've never seen a live before or if you're brand new to a stenciling here at Essential Stencil, let us know that too. Oh guys, I'm a little bit worried. I just really had this vision <laughs> that it would look like 
little barnacles on the whale with those lumpy textured bits. I wish I could zoom you in a bit closer. I will, um, it could just look like a big mess or it could work out just perfectly in all, in all my vision, in my dreams. Okay, I've got this last little bit over here. I'm trying to go sort of along the lines because if I go across the lines, I, I'm afraid it's going to bleed under. So just laying it down there. Look how much I've got. It uses hardly any when you do this. So we're making a 3D whale. Well, we're trying to, guys. And if it doesn't work out, I will just have a big mess and I'll just have to sand it off or, you know, wipe it off and move back later. So that's how much I've got on there. You could always scrape that back further if you wanted, but again, I sort of hesitate to do that because I'm just trying to find, I can't even see where the, where the stencil starts and where the, where the whale is. All right, let's have a go at moving that. Oh, I'll have a peek. What? It worked, you guys. There's one huge lump right here. I'm not sure whether I should grab it. I'll let you come up and see that. Okay, let's see if I can get this at sort of an angle where you can see the 3D looking. Can you see that? So it's got a rough, rough finish on it, but I'm pretty happy with how that's turned out. Can you see the 3D? I'm not sure if you can. There are some little lumps like this little one right here, but I might wait till it dries and sand that off. Now we're going to go and do some more stenciling on the sides here, but I just wanted to show you this. Now that's looking glossy and wet, but that's just because it's wet. It will dry and you can see some of that white crustiness of the powder. So you, the aim is not to mix the powder thoroughly in. I think I will try and get that little, little bit off. Try and do it without. Ah, no, nope, too late. I got it on the edge. If I had some tweezers, I could pick that off. It'll probably sand off a bit better later. But um, yeah, 3D looking whale. We'll put that aside. I will use my hairdryer to dry that a bit further. But that was using the fresco powder. Yes, yeah, a toothpick donner. That's a great idea. If I had one handy, I could do that. <laughs> I wonder if a, a, little, a little mini paintbrush might pick it off. Oh, here I am trying to get this thing off. Oh, I think I'm spreading it along the line further. Oh, it makes it look like he's got a little white bump on there. We'll leave it. We'll leave it alone. All right, so <clears throat> those things I'll wash all off later. But I do want to, so where's my scraper? I do want to just grab the majority of this um, stuff off the stencil otherwise it'll dry super hard so if you're using the fresco just grab your scraper and scrape that all along here and scrape it back into your barrel obviously i've used way too much on here but i was trying to show you the ratios using my tablespoon measures this will get on my cardboard too so i'll have wet paint i have to try very hard not to get my box on there Okay, so once that's all scraped off, then you've got a lot less to wipe off and wash off later. I'm just going to zip that over to, well, I would, but I can't. <laughs> hey, Tori, are you there? She's not there. I just don't want this big mess. Here we are on my kitchen table, trying not to make a mess on it. I need a bit of space. Can you hold this for me, please? Just take that straight to the sink. Thank you. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we're getting the majority of that mess away. All right, so that, that is drying, and I'm going to go on with some of these. Now, I showed you earlier we're using the um, coastline phrases. So let me just pop this in here, this in here, all our messy things away. <coughs> So Maggie, the paint I used was an Australian brand of paint, but the blue that I would recommend in the Fusion Mineral paint would be Midnight Blue for that dark blue whale. This one is an Australian brand that you can't get in the USA, um, but the Midnight Blue is an excellent um, blue for that whale. 
All right, so now I'm going to use, making sure I've got no dark blue on my fingers, one of these sayings. I want to use these along the front and the side. The box has a little bit of character right here, but that's okay. So I'm just being careful not to put it on my blue paint here. And we're going to go with the side of the box. So if you missed the earlier first part of the live, um, I just picked this up from a thrift store. It contains some ceramic all in like, you know, bubble wrap or something in there. And it's just about a shoebox size. So I want to use the word home with the little sand dollar and I'm going to make it say H-O then the M-E here. So I'm going to do the M-E first because I feel like that will be a little easier to do. And this time I'm going to stencil on. And so you could measure this all out to get the exact center. But I feel like I'm going to eyeball this. And that's okay. <laughs> Are the most popular of the fusion mineral paint colors here. So, if you use that link that I sent earlier, it'll take you to the fusion mineral paint site. Now, I need to tape this up here because I don't want to accidentally hit those letters. Just take off the tackiness off my tape here. There we go. So, I restore stuff and get your 10% off the brushes. Essential Stencil has four different sized brushes. So I'll just probably use this. I don't want to get paint off there, but I think I'll be careful enough not to do that. Now, what I am going to do now, I'm just going to use this same midnight blue. I mean this, yeah, regatta, the blue, dark, dark blue, but be, and it, it does have, oh, look, it's getting, it's setting already so quickly because it's got that powder in it. Um, but I'm just going to offload that onto the cardstock my cardboard down there and I'm going to create a base well we'll see we all are always experimenting aren't we I am anyway okay but I would encourage you to just experiment with your products experiment with your stencils uh, you can experiment on just a piece of cardboard first or just a piece of scrap wood that you might have lying around the place um, because if you don't want to ruin you know a really perfectly good piece of furniture for example if you want to make it on a piece of furniture or a really nice signboard that you've just done a background for and you don't want to ruin it you can just practice your experiments on um, a piece of cardboard. Okay, so there's our M and our E. <coughs> now the H and the O at the top. I've got this on here, this one here. So we're going to have to move this to the other side. I want to make that sand dollar another colour. Add a little bit of another C C color in there. But I might still do. Okay, so here we are. I'm just making it sort of look at the distance between that to make the O a bit of a distance around about the same distance there. Hopefully, I've eyeballed this enough correctly. <laughs> and here's our piece that we're going to stick over here so as we don't get that in the way. All right, adding that dark blue again. <coughs> Offloading is really important to offload your paint onto a piece of cardboard or something so that you don't get, if you have too much paint on your brush, you will get bleed through and fuzzy edges on your stencils. So it's important to offload that as much as you can first and then you can do this swirly motion that I'm kind of doing now. So that's my biggest tip is if you are stenciling and you're still getting fuzzy edges it means you probably have still got too much on your brush. All right so if I lift that up now we've got gorgeous <coughs> word home on the side of our sea themed coastal box 
Um, yeah, someone just said they missed where I got the box from. I just picked it up at the thrift store. It looks about the same size as a shoe box, but it actually had some ceramic pieces in there. And so I thought that's a perfect little box to make a treasure box. You know, you might have, you might live by the sea or dream that you live by the sea. You might want to collect seashells in there when you go on a vacation somewhere. So I want to wash off this little dollar part because I want to add a bit of color to that as well. I might even make it a bit of a shadow look type of thing. Um, I'll leave that down there. I don't need that to be... Oh, now I've made a mess of my cardboard. Just got to make sure that I don't get that on my white box, don't I? Let's pop this down. Okay, so here's our word home. <coughs> And I want to use a different brush. So because I'm using this one, and I may still use that navy for the other side of my box, I want to just pop that in a wet cloth so that it doesn't dry out. And let's see, I've got Fusion Mineral Paints Color Heirloom here. So that's another one that I might... Um, it's just got a nice sea, sea tones to it. And we'll just uh, use a small stencil brush. And again, I'm dipping that in but look how much paint is on that brush that's way too much paint on the brush so when you've dipped it in just wipe it off on the side I mean careful not to flick it everywhere wiping it off on the side of the pot and then also um, wiping it off on your cardboard here then I'm going to use that to just go over my little sand dollar Stencil's not quite dry. Okay, and just going to add a little bit of blue tones. And I'm shifting it slightly to create a bit of a shadow over that. But what I can see is that I'm possibly going to run into my H accidentally. And I don't want to do that. And I could accidentally run into this. So we don't want to do that either. So I've got that in place around about where I want it holding that still and adding that gorgeous sea tone here. You could also, with your sand dolly, you could just simply um, colour that in with a different colour also instead of creating this shadow look. You could get a small tipped paintbrush and just colour that in. So if you missed the beginning, we created a gnarly whale. <laughs> he's, um, he's drying over here and he's got a nice 3D look with a, with a fusion mineral paint fresco on it. So there you go. I've just created a bit of a shadow around that. See how it looks all sort of 3D looking? Because I've just shifted the stencil slightly off to an angle. So we've got the word home on that side of the box. <coughs> um, I'm just going to show you, for those who missed this earlier... Oh, the whale that I've been working on and then we're going to put some other stencil onto the side now let's see it's still looking glossy there let's see if I can dry that off a bit more do you want to dry this for me Tori so it is drying on some parts I can see on the tail it's just looking less glossy but uh, we'll have a go I'll get Tori to dry that while I'm doing the other stencil <coughs> thanks so that'll make a bit of noise, but I've got the microphone on, so it should be all good. Okay, so the other stencil that I want to use on this side is from the same set. We've got the six-pack minis here. And yes, Brenda, you can watch the replay to catch it all. Don't forget, if you are watching the replay, you can comment the word replay, and then the 24 hours after the live is live, if you comment then, not now, <laughs> during the live, um, then you will go in the draw to, or they will pick another winner. So... Okay, I'm going to use this one that says home is where you drop your anchor. And so we can pop that on this side. And we, with that lid with the whale on it, we can shift it and change it round to make it um, oops, make it go whichever way it wants because the lid fits both ways. Okay, so I'm going to do this again. Home is where you drop your anchor. So because I want to put that sort of in the center so that the anchor goes over onto this side, I'm going to add that tape down here. Hopefully that's all 
going to stay right there. Add a bit of tape on the side here, a little bit more on this side. And let's see how um, this fusion colour turns out on this side. I love the C, C colour of it. And again, we're just dipping that in the into the paint, but we're going to offload that on the side here. All right, yeah, you can still see it stand out. I like to use contrasting colors, so I've got a white painted box. So this is just dark enough. I thought it might have been a little bit too light, but it's definitely dark enough where it stands out from the side. So you could choose your nice coastal colors, and this is a, I think it's a lovely coastal color anyway. It's called Heirloom by Fusion. Thanks, Maggie, for asking. Yeah, I'm uh, Lawada. I'm on this time every every th every Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CST. That's my regular time slot, so that's when you'll catch me. And last week I used the Stencil of the Month Club design. So if you missed last week's live where I showed you my collaboration with Essential Stencil, which was all music related. So we had lots of fun with that. I've got it right here. I just will show you. So just a little word there for the Stencil of the Month Club. People who haven't received that yet, you've got, um, or if you haven't joined the club, you can join and get 50% off your first month using my code I Restore Stuff. So here is the fun collab that I did. There's me. And um, it's all music related with some fun music sayings. And these book pages, how about those book pages, hey? This so good for uh, so many different things. And we've got four different sayings on there and lots of music related stuff. Thank you so much for that. It's still slightly, um, slightly damp, but you can see that, yeah, it's touch dry to the top. It, I'd probably leave it a lot longer to dry. And you can see the sort of textured powdery look. Hopefully you can kind of see that 3D lumpy finish that's on there. I'm going to add some pearl to that in a minute. So, and I might just have to do that with a paintbrush because I've put the stencil in the sink ready to soak it all off. Okay, so yeah, if you haven't joined the Stencil of the Month Club, you can do that for 50% off your first month um, using code IRESTOREStuff. And uh, it's all music related. Lots of fun with that one. And if you are in the Stencil of the Month Club, I'd love to see... Oh, thank you, Peggy just joined Stencil of the Month Club the other day. Yes, well, you'll get your uh, you'll get your stencils in the mail shortly if you haven't got them already. And I want to see some of your ideas over there in the Facebook group for the Stencil of the Month Club. Okay, so home is where you drop your anchor. So the word anchor, let's just lift it up a little bit and the waves will come down on the bottom of it. So I think that's perfectly fine right there. We'll add a bit. I oh, will add this here because I know that that A is going to... Uh, it'll be uh, dropping down there. Now I'll have to add that navy blue in here somewhere, so I might add that to the anchor, but I'll do that after I finished after I finished this little bit. So that whale, oh, I can't wait to add a little bit of pearl to that just for, I don't know, just for a bit of bling, something, something different. Okay, so we've got the word anchor here. I feel like it's slightly crooked. There we go. And I'm just using a swirling motion with my brush. I'm using the color Heirloom by Fusion. And if you want links to any of the other products, uh, I've got Amazon affiliate links that I've shared there in the comments somewhere. So I can definitely add that if you ask where I got that from. I'd love to give you my link there. And these, imagine this anchor and these cute little waves mixed with something else too. You could always add them to trim some other piece of, you know, another sign. They would look cute on. Okay, got that with just one dip of the paintbrush and one offload. So I didn't even have to go back in and do a second, second coat. So there's that. Home is where you drop your anchor. And now I'm going to go over that little anchor. Maybe I'll do the waves too. Nah, just the anchor. Let's just do the anchor. 
and I didn't wash this off this time just gonna just gonna go for it and put a tape over the waves so I don't catch those and oh there we go maybe I'll get that little bit there um, <clears throat> where's my brush okay so I popped this navy blue one in a wet cloth so that it didn't dry out but that once you've mixed that fre fresco mixture into um, into the paint it does dry and go lumpy very quickly so I'm not intending to I could just use straight paint I just didn't want to see this a lot of um, textured stuff go to waste so just going to go over that super quickly to show you another little 3d bit of anchor here hopefully I won't get that paint I should have taped off the word let's see Ooh. all right and again we've got that little 3d looking anchor if I can zoom that in super close you can see that it's got a slight different color to it so so far we've done home and this is all using the six mini set uh, stencils which is called and the link is in the description coastline phrases so essential stencil probably will put that this um, link in there as well there's that side now let's have a look at our whale see if we can add a bit of pearl I just like that the idea of that look of pearl on there I think I'm done with the stencil brush can pop that in the wash here's our whale oh I really I think that's so cool I, I wish that you could see oh yeah you can kind of see that can't you so now it's pretty much touch dry I got Tori to dry that with the hairdryer while we were waiting so we've got that touch of navy which is kind of matches in there but we've got some great sea colors there I can imagine this as a little box at your front door um, just to drop your keys in or you know one of those junk drawer type things yeah the sand dollar is cute thank you who was that Sonia I love how you did the sand dollar yeah so I've done that a little bit of a 3d look as well uh, so yeah home just on one of those little hall tables or consoles and now see how you can just turn the lid of the box so if you want that facing the front you can do that to change up your decor a little bit sit down. Uh, you can just switch around the lid so I love this box maybe you can find some other boxes somewhere near you at a craft store that are similar but I literally just found this I found this at a thrift store okay I do have a like really fine tipped paintbrush here so I'm just going to have a go at painting Oop. a bit of pearly pearlescent on here now I've got a link for that um, back in the description no I didn't put it in the description but if you do need the fusion mineral paint this is fusions metallic color pearl it's quite a translucent sort of a paint color so it's um, you know it's got if you wanted to paint something solid with this you probably might need a couple of coats I think it actually would look lovely just painted all over the white because it does have just a nice, a nice iridescent sort of um, look to it let me just look we're experimenting here we always love experimenting on Sharon's lives okay so oh there we go so it brings out a bit of the texture if I just hit the high points of the whales little 3d lumpy things that I created with that fresco all right I've got to zoom this in somehow my zooming in is lifting the lid to you <laughs> that's my zoom in can you see that so it's just hit those high points of the lumpy texture I just think it looks like you know you know you see whales with all the barnacles this really is so cool if you could see this up close they look like a bunch of barnacles right here on this section in fact I'm just gonna uh, dip that pearl in a bit more offload a little bit of, on the brush so it's just sort of in there and I feel like I could just just do a little swoosh around on these barnacles and create you know, let me see I like my zooming technique 
and just sort of brush them. Now it doesn't matter if it gets on the white because it's pearl and it's really quite white so it's not going to make much of a difference but it just really adds a little bit of a um, and it makes those stand out it really gives it a bit of a lift. Oh, Elizabeth I love it when people can can see that um, she said I bought that set with the whale and you weren't interested in the whale but then seeing what I've done with it you love him too <laughs> that's so beautiful the whale thanks you <laughs> so this one here you can see that white area there is that fresco powder that didn't quite get mixed in but that will set still like the others but what I'm doing with this brush and the pearl the metallic pearl is I'm just hitting those high edges where it's the lumps have risen so there's the ridges and then there's the valleys so I'm hitting all of the ridges with that pearl and hopefully you can kind of see as it hits the high points it makes them really stand out more like that kind of barnacly look let's see see that I don't know does it look metallic to you it does to me but I sometimes the video camera doesn't sort of show that metallic kind of side of things so see the difference between where I've just highlighted that with the pearl and then this here which is still quite plain but it still looks rough looking I love it oh this is what this is a good experiment guys I'm happy with this experiment sometimes I'm like oh I don't know if this is going to work okay I've just dipped that in my brush in again oh, I want to use this for other colors and other things now this idea so just hitting those high ridges with that brush turn that around so we can see it better and just going from here again just hitting those high points Oop. it's almost like dry brushing when you dry brush the high points on a rough piece of wood so we've got a lovely textured finish there I'm happy with Mr. Whale I feel like he needs a name okay Barnacle Bill all right another little bit here and if you don't want the pearl bit you don't have to add it so but I love how that's just kind of creating creating a little bit more texture and as you can see it sort of flicks off any of those little bits that aren't are loose and have risen up high now to seal it all in because I know someone will probably ask this if you haven't seen someone says call him Barney that's a great one Wally the whale okay we've got some great names great names coming in hi Christina not too late you can always catch the replay so we've created a 3d looking whale here and we're making him even more 3d with just a little bit of um, dry brushing over the top with a bit of pearl metallic so it'll give him a gorgeous metallic look wow I really wish you could see this in person because I think sometimes the video camera doesn't do it justice this is the lid to my fun box that I found so let me see if I can show you that up close and see if you can see the you know that 3d looking texture oh I love it I love it okay so there's our well lid to this fun box that I found now I did that pearl using fusions metallic which is um, available on Amazon I can send you that if you want the link to that I'd love you to use my my link for that now here is the box his home we're going to pick some prize winners in just a minute let's see if I can um, see them this time because Facebook's been doing a little glitchy thing and I haven't been able to see winners so let me know if you see the winners coming up on there but here is our box so like I said we've got the whale on there we've got home I can just see this sitting on like a you know one of those hall entry room tables pop your keys in or um, you know those kind of little treasures those little knickknacks that you want to try and find a place for on the other side we did home is where you drop your anchor and I've added onto the anchor you'll see a quite sort of a shadow on that anchor if you want to see any of uh, that shadowing technique if you want to go into a few more of those you will see in the video section right here on essential stencils page you'll see a playlist that's called shadowing and we've got all our shadowing type technique videos on there so um, now the other thing I did mention before is because this is the kind of lid that you can just flip around if you wanted to make that the front on your 
desk console or whatever, you can just turn the lid around. So find you a box, like it's about shoebox size, literally. And um, it just came with some ceramic jars in it. And so I thought that's going to make a perfect look. You could even have the whale going this way and it's breach. Is that what they call it? Is doing one of those backflip things. You could do that too. All right, guys, I'm going to look for our winners, but let me know if you see the winners. Essential Stencil will be picking those any minute. And don't forget to comment the word replay after the, the live is finished. And then, um, Kathy, I will give you the links. Let me just pop those in the comments again as Essential Stencil. This is for the Fresco by Fusion and the Metallic Pearl by Fusion. I've just popped those into the comments there you should be able to see that um, but if I do find your comment later I will I'll be able to share that with you can anyone see winners winners prize winners maybe because I did um, a little bit short today but we want to see who our winners are so if you do see them coming up let, let us know because we want to congratulate them I know I find a lot of thrift store finds so I'd love you to follow over on my page my page is called I restore stuff it's just at I restore stuff all one word and you can find me on Pinterest uh, on Instagram TikTok even YouTube I've got lots of YouTube tutorials that uh, you can follow along and especially in the area of furniture painting I've got a lot of those but I also put my essential stencil um, images um, videos up there as well I'm trying to find our comments to make sure we've got because we don't want you to go home without seeing who's won but I love that set great coastal look uh, what else was I going to tell you don't forget the stencil of the month club if you have not joined the stencil of the month club yet you can uh, do that via stencil of the month club.com that link is also in the description of our live and um, you can see you can join that and get 50% off your very first month with essential stencils now every month you'll be sent three stencils in the mail so this month I collaborated on this design and it's all music related so we had a little error so that you'll find your um, correction right there on the front there was just a, a typo in one of the the uh, letters was flipped around so there we go there's our uh, stencil of the month club um, set now it comes with three different designs and they will this is the May design which I collaborated with them those book pages we had some fun with those last week on my live so if you saw that last week you'll be able to see that and then this is the add-on so each month that you have an optional add-on so this is the add-on for this month and it's music notes with one two three four different staves there that you could create a song if you are so um if you are so keen to do so yeah i haven't seen that on either so i will just make sure there are no winners just yet so i'm not sure if we are going to probably essential stencil will come on and pick those um maybe after we finish the live so i will make sure that they know and <laughs> yeah, I hope they didn't forget too. Essential Stencil is so good at picking winners. So if they haven't been on just now, it might be because I don't know why. Yes, I love the music notes too. It is. Donna says it's definitely worth getting the add on. For sure. Absolutely. All right, guys. Well, I will let Essential Stencil pick those winners from the comments right here and they will pick them. Don't you worry about that. And I will see you again next week for another DIY live. I've enjoyed this. If you missed the beginning, please go and watch the replay to see how we created this 3D look using Fusion's fresco on this gorgeous whale that looks like he's got barnacles all over his body. It's fun. All right. See you next week. Bye.